Hey ladies, I wanted to show you real quick how to access the responses of your Google document forms. And I'll also quickly show you how to create a Google document. So you're going to want a Google account. So you are going to come in. I am already logged in, as you can see up here. And you're going to hit these nine little squares right here. And it's going to bring down this drop down. And you're going to want to go to the Google Drive, which is right here. And then in order to create a new document, you're going to want to hit this new button right up here. So you're going to hit new and then you're going to hit this more so that you can go to the Google Forms. So even though it says Google Docs here, you want to go down to more and hit Google Forms. And that is going to bring up where you can add um, your title, you can add questions, you can change whether you give them multiple choice options, a checkbox. You can show the checkbox if you're asking them questions. You can give a drop down. You can give them a short answer area to um, put their answer in, which I usually do for like their name. And then when they're doing their address, I usually choose the paragraph. You can add in a video. You can add in an image, which you saw on mine. I added in the 3D plus um, new formula image. And then you can add more questions that way, okay? And then as you can see up in the corner, it said that it was saving. So let me do that again so you can see. It says saving, and then all changes have been saved. So then you can safely go back, and it'll have everything there. So you'll see all your uh, documents here. You can see right here I had a liquid foundation one when it came back in stock. So there was a limit of two. I asked them how many foundations did they want, what color, and then I gave them a chart showing how to pick your shade, ask them a few questions, ask them if they wanted concealer to go with it, upsell, upsell, upsell. And then do you want primer? Are you interested in the new liquid foundation brush? And then I showed them the liquid foundation brush. So that is just another one that I have created. But let me go to my 3D mascara one for you. So you're going to click on it. And this is where a lot of you guys are having trouble is finding your responses. So once you're in there, I believe you have to do this from an actual desktop. So make sure you're on your desktop and you can see right here next to the questions, you've got your responses. So there you can go in and check out all the responses. And then it's going to give you like a summary of everything. And then click the individual one and you are going to be able to go through and see their actual information. You can print them off. You can go through each of your um, responses. And I made sure to write in the bottom that you have to pay your invoice before 9 a.m. Eastern time when the product launches on the 15th. So that is huge. I will also send out a reminder to them a few days before, letting them know, hey, we're getting closer to the launch. Uh, I'm going to be sending out invoices. Be on the lookout from an invoice from Lashes by Meg. That way they don't forget, they remember, but a lot of people have asked me why I'm not pay taking payment until the 13th. I don't want to collect their money now because I want to give them an opportunity to join my team to get the product sooner, okay? So I am still working on letting them see over and over that they can get the product in their hands right now if they join our team. So that hopefully answers that for you. You can use Square, you can use PayPal, uh, whatever it is that you do to collect your money. I use Square, I love Square, I always have used Square. Um, and then to get, here let me show you one more thing before I hop off of here. To get the link, here, my, my thing's being slow today. Let's see, where did I do that? Actually, I think it was back on the main screen. So, I think it was right here. I hit open in a new tab, I think. I'm trying to remember where it was that I got the shortened. Oh, here we go. This is this is where you want to get your link. Okay. You can just copy and paste the link up here, but I like to shorten it. So you're gonna hit the send button. And then you're going to go to this little, I think it's a hyperlink. And then it'll show you your, your thing. But I want to shorten your URL. 
So then you can copy and paste that, and that is the link that your people use to do the pre-order. So you can copy that, and then it's saved to your clipboard, and then you can post it on your post. So hopefully that helped you guys. Remember, you do need a Google account for this. Um, it just makes everything much more professional. It makes it easier for you to keep organized. That way you can print these off if you have a computer at home and you can make sure that you are, everyone's orders are taken care of. You can write if they paid for it on there. You can write if the invoice was sent, if it was shipped. You have all their email addresses. You have all of their addresses ready right there. So hopefully that helped you and I will talk to you guys later.